This is a free sample of the book, Making Women Want You, by Cairo Copeland. The first half of this book is posted right here on YouTube, free for everyone to listen to. If you like this content and want to hear or read the rest, or want to listen to it free of ads, visit reinventideal.com slash women. The book is available on Kindle, paperback, and Audible at reinventideal.com slash women. Chapter 4 Hierarchy Abraham Maslow plotted out the hierarchy of needs for humans when it came to the basics of living life. Similarly, Allure itself has its own hierarchy of needs that must be met in the logical order to most optimally exercise Allure. First is your health, your fitness, mental toughness, emotional intelligence, and resistance to addictive vices. Next is your wealth, the ability to pay your essential living expenses, and the ability to pay discretionary expenses, like dates. And then comes relationships, or having the social acumen to do that. You first need health, then wealth, to even afford the pursuit of women, then relationships, which amounts to social acumen, friends, status, and the respect of others. All three of these elements in the hierarchy are related and cross over into the other. Ideally, one would start out with health and maximizing that as much as possible, which would then allow them to move on to maximizing wealth. After that is achieved, it gives one the safety net possible to expend some money on socializing. However, success in one of these elements helps with the others. If I'm healthy, I can work harder to acquire more wealth. Also, if I'm in good shape, people are more likely to want to socialize with me and be my friend because I'm not a fat loser. The same can be said if I'm wealthy. People want to associate with successful people, so that helps my social life. Also, more wealth means more time and resources to improve health and fitness. Let's not forget that social intelligence can create the connections necessary to help with both improving fitness and finances. That being said, neglect in one of these elements can bring about harm to the others. If I'm poor, I can't much focus on my health or go out for socializing. If I'm unhealthy, it will cost me money in the long run and keep me isolated from making friends and relationships. If I'm socially inept, it can cost me in terms of mental health and even financially as it closes doors to opportunity. The ideal way to govern these three elements is with balance. Until these three are balanced to their optimal levels, any attempts you make to allure and attract women will be suboptimal. The fact of the matter is that women want a pre-assembled man. They do not help build. They only move in. You could view it as men are islands and women are boats. You must make your island from harbor to heart as appealing as possible because the boat she's on has been invited to several others. Many guys fall for the fatal myth that they first find their woman and she rides along with you in your development as a man rising up through the ranks of life. This is born from the common canard, frequently repeated, that behind every successful man is a woman. There's not a shred of truth to this. Perhaps behind every successful man was the drive to impress a woman, but none of them had a woman behind the scenes helping him establish his empire, working alongside him in the construction quarry. Even if that was ever true in the past, you must accept that it is no longer true today. Women do not run the race with you. They hang out at the finish line and latch themselves on to the winner. Dismiss the idea that you will be seeking a woman to be your equal partner in life. Life. Those days are over because now you are competing with every other guy, not just the ones in your local area, but worldwide with the globalization of the mating markets. Therefore, many guys in your competition are already pre-assembled. 
Many guys are learning the hard way that they cannot compete with them. A 20-year-old college girl has the choice of a 20-year-old college boy who's just as poor as her, as well as uninteresting because he lacks life experience. She also has the choice of a 30-year-old guy that's established, financially stable, can take her on adventures, and has interesting things to say from a life of interesting experience. It's obvious which one she will choose. Before you take the first step, toward a cold approach with a woman, you better have the three elements of the hierarchy as optimized as possible first. Summary. Start with your health. If you're out of shape, you shouldn't even be thinking about women. Lose the weight or don't date. Dating women is a luxury, not a necessity. First, earn enough to cover your necessities. And savings of excess income over bills and investments are necessities as well. Then you can start to consider luxuries like dating. You do not qualify for a girlfriend if you can't even win over friend friends. Work on your social skills first, then you can think about pursuing women. No woman is going to help you find your way or develop as a man. You must do that on your own. Thank you for listening to this free sample of the book, Making Women Want You by Cairo Copeland. If you enjoyed it and want to hear or read the rest or want to listen to it free of ads, visit reinventideal.com slash women. The book is available on Kindle, paperback, and Audible at reinventideal.com slash women.